How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the brand new Rogue Jack. This is also something that's available on Android at the very least. I assume also iOS. <laughs> Hesitated on that. I've been playing it myself some on mobile. I haven't played it in a while. I think they've been updating it since. But I thought it was a cool enough concept and when I found out that they were putting out a PC version of it as well, I thought I would show that off. The rumors were true. The amulet is real. Buried in a cave hidden in the forest. It's the key to everything. I must find it. It'll be interesting to see how they like fold the story into what is essentially Blackjack. I guess the, the, the rogue element will carry more more of that. I'm not gonna remember any of the strategy or anything so we'll kind of we'll be learning together here a little bit. Walking into monsters starts a game of Blackjack that determines who attacks. Select a card to add it to your hand tap away from the cards to stay, get as close to 21 as possible without going over. Face cards are worth 10, aces 11, or 1. I immediately am going to show down with this little spider. I see him coming at me with the red rage in his eyes. A spider, just bigger. <laughs> He's a giant spider. They play their hands face up won't take any card. It would be so easy for an eight-legged thing to like be hiding and moving around cards and everything. I would never want to play three card Monty with a, a giant spider. They play their hands face up, won't take any cards. So I'm just gonna know what he has. He... I started with a 10? I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna super duper stay. Yeah. There's no reason not to. When you fight an enemy or they fight you, you discover their special abilities and playstyle. If you forget, you can touch them and bring up their stats. The rat, generic rat. <laughs> He's not giant or anything. He's pretty standard. Rats, rats everywhere. They play their hand face up, won't take any cards. It, one card, one health, one stairs, one... Like, the attack makes sense and the health makes sense. I have one attack. I have three health. Uh, the, the staircase and things, I don't quite know. So he has a 15, I have 12, I need to draw, and I busted. So I take damage. Try to keep the total of your cards under 21. Monsters hit on different counts listed on their trading cards. I don't entirely understand what that means. 10 and I have 20, stay. <laughs> I do like the way that you, you get to learn about the creatures as you kill them. I think that's cool. I get some gold. I'm going to investigate this pile of bones. Worthless junk. And plus 3 exp experience. I could explain to you the way that that earned experience. You rogue. Now you can peek at your card before you take it. Presumably that costs like mana or something. I assume I can't do that on the regular. My character, I have fists, your bloody fists do 1 HP of damage, you are shieldless, you dodge, but it never works, <laughs> we're quite terrible at it, very lead footed, and you rogue, you can peek at cards before you take them, and on this side is just settings, fair enough. This game is developed by Pony Wolf, which I didn't mention earlier, they did Golf Wasteland, Wasteland Golf, and Skip Chaser, and Knights of the Card Table. I've played like a bunch of games by these developers on the channel. I'm a big fan of what they do. I think they make cool, nice, small, simple, packaged experiences. You know, it's like a very full game, very quick and easy to pick up. So I, I like seeing what they what they do and what they have in the works. I like seeing the quick ranking of everything that I would have seen there, and my all time. <laughs> It's, it's not a very impressive list so far, I'll say. I think I'm going to take out the spider first before the chicken. The chicken seems quite non-threatening. I'm going to go ahead and stay on that. Catch a chicken and eat it for a health bonus. Won't hit, but will fight. A terrible chicken. <laughs> uh, so I have either 15 or 5. Oh, I get to see. I get to see what's coming up next. And so... I either have 15 now or 15 after I take the jack, which is kind of funny. I mean, I, I win no matter what, so I'll just stay and take my quick uh, health bonus. I, I don't even have to take it, actually, from the turkey leg. Gather up some gold, max health, worthless junk, and that was the end of the floor. I probably could have explored around the tiniest bit more, actually. I kind of jumped out of there more quickly than I probably needed to. More junk. 
you found a light source, you can see much further now, but just for this floor. Interesting. Okay, that's cool to start seeing more of the rogue elements coming in. Navigating the dunge dungeon and everything has that, but the idea of like individual runs and temporary items or things like upgrades, leveling up, things like that, I'm into it. I like seeing some of that. 14, I'm guessing, is the number they either stay or hit on. I'm unclear on that so far. I don't know if 14, they'll risk it at 14 or if they'll stay at 14. Don't wake a bat unless you have to. They play conservatively. So he won't hit on a 14. I'm sitting at, eight. oh, I can, I can draw that safely. Oh, it's 15. It calculates it for me at the bottom there rather than me doing all the math all the time. It seems insanely like I'm cheating. <laughs> By the fact that I can see what's coming next, I'm guessing I won't have that power forever. Skeletons are strong. They hit to 16. So that number in the top left there next to the little card icon is where they stay and always win in case of a tie. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that he gets a little bit of like a, an advantage over me. I have to stay. Skeleton wins. S.O.B. Oh, shit. He's at a king. That's not very good for me. And that is perfect for me. 21. My first actual 21. Dope. <laughs> I guess I can go kill this little chicken. He looks so innocent just hanging out over here, you know? Mm. So, running into him, it only tells me the, like, details about him the first time. Unless I click on him, maybe? Oh. Clicking on him might have been the equivalent of staying. <laughs> Well, that worked out for me in terms of killing the chicken and getting the health. Uh, I don't recall how to, like, recheck their skills. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing for that. I also need somewhere to stick this mouse. I don't want, it. I don't want that on screen. It bothers me. Hands played, hands won, items found, chest open, potions drank. I don't need to read all that every single time. A new thing, a goblin. I'm gonna stay. Yep. <laughs> I think that, that one made a lot of sense. Goblins are good hunters and smartly stay on 16. Two HP, so I have to hit this damn thing twice. And it's honestly not a great start for me. <laughs> Why do I have so many mouse options? I, I guess you, if, if you were playing on your phone, that makes sense. You click on the card, like tap the card to draw and tap away from it to stay. But it's kind of annoying when I've committed to playing with a, a controller and it's still showing me that. I wish it would turn that off while I'm, while I'm busy doing my stuff here, you know? I have to stay. Oh, he pulled that out of his ass. Come on, Skelly. Good, I managed, I managed to heal up there. Stay... Hero wins, cause I'm great. <laughs> kinda tried to run away, but I, I think I kinda need to see this through. Draw, that's great news for me. Is it just because I'm I'm playing as this rogue character that I, like, event sooner or later I'm gonna lose that ability to see what's next, right? Cause it's so overpowered. Ghosts hit up to 17 and often drop mana potions. The spooky ghost. I gotta, gotta stay. Monster busted. Great news for me. Found a key. See, I claimed a mana potion there, but don't currently have mana. I'm guessing I'm going to lose that ability. Level up. Oh, those, it was an experience potion, not a mana potion. Meditation gives you... Un unless mana is experience? Unclear. Meditation gives you two cards to choose from. Oh, do I have to take this? I do. Okay, meditation gives you two cards to choose from, 50% chance, either one or face up. Oh, I'm like a new class, which is kind of cool. I dig that. That's uh, interesting. I don't know what my ace, 0% ace thing is all about. Yeah, all right, well, it's gonna force me to, to change things up a little bit, so that's where things are gonna start getting trickier, because Truly, the game was a, a joke when you know exactly what's coming at all times. Unless I have both skills. 
Explain this to me again. It gives you two cards to choose from, 50% chance either or face up. Did it do a 50% chance per card? And both came out successful for me on, on that one? Because that works out very, very well for me. And now I have none of them. So I'll stay. Obviously, I have 20. That's like a great hand still. 18, huh? Well, I'm going to risk it on the B. I'm going to... I just feel like it would be fun to start playing a little riskier now that things are changing up. Well, sitting at a 2. Terrible. I'm going to stay because it'll probably bust. Great. I've never in my life been a good blackjack player. This could be like a fun excuse to like learn a little bit and try and and get better and learn a little bit of some of the strategies. A tie, you have tied. Some monsters win in case of ties. Others, you have to attack again. It was one of the skeleton types or something that won on ties that we saw before. Ah, <sighs> crap. <laughs> Hero wins, great. I was at a casino with a friend one time who is like really, really into blackjack. He would probably be super embarrassed seeing me flounder around here. You won, that was terrible. To have the heart to continue or touch the tombstone to restart, you get one continue per game. Well, let's continue. I don't really feel like restarting. I'm back at full health. He stays injured, which is good for me. He's starting with a queen, so he's probably good. Oh, that was the right call for me. All right, now I'll stay. Monster busted, great news. But anyways, he knows Blackjack well enough that he's like playing his hands more rapidly than I can even like register what the cards were that the dealer just put down on the table and he's doing like splitting the deck and all that ridiculous stuff. I watched him play a couple hands and it just like stressed me out watching him do it and just pissing money away. You know, you put 20 bucks on the table, 30 seconds later you've played five hands and that money is just gone and then you put more money on the table you win a couple you lose a bunch and the next thing all the money's just gone again and it was stressing me out watching him and he was like do you want to learn i'll teach you how to learn and i was like i i don't want to lose that kind of money this seems terrible like i'm not interested at all i'll finish the story i guess in just half a second uh spend nine gold on this vending machine for a random item yeah i'm into that and more experience five experience i'd say that was pretty worth it overall i need to find a weapon though like i'm not becoming a stronger stronger attack by leveling up so yeah it's a little sketchy at the moment but he was like yeah you don't have to put any of your money on I'll, I'll i'll loan you like 30 bucks or 40 bucks or something like that and i'll just teach you when to hit when to stay but the dealer clearly didn't want to waste it there's like other people at the table he didn't want to waste a ton of time watching somebody who'd never played before so he was like i'll just play your hands for you and all the money he lent me which i guess he was just he was just paying to have a second hand at the table essentially again all of that just gone in in less than like a minute and at that moment i pretty much knew i would never be a gambler i was pretty certain of it before then but it was like a positivity at that point like that was just brutal just was horrible horrible to watch someone lose so much so quickly i'm chasing down this chicken because the skeleton fight was not going well i managed to pay myself nor pay at the vending machine i mean for oh perfect for <laughs> for one piece of health finally hits for one hp of damage cards are 10 percent more likely to be face up dagger of sight i don't want to like current weapon fist all right i, I was scared right bumper left bumper there would would put me in a bad place where i wouldn't get to keep that because i really wanted to keep that it's the same amount of damage but hey i'll take i'll take the extra ability to see what's coming seeing what's coming a percentage of the time i'm still not good at blackjack i have like no ability to count cards or track this stuff apparently and it just stresses me out but this a roguelike which is something that i love and a game with such low stakes if ever in my life I were to get into Blackjack, this is this is the place it's gonna be. Worthless chunk. All right, we'll tell that to the skeleton who's probably looking for like his femur right now. You know, I don't think it would be quite so worthless to him. I am gonna assume I don't have the money. Oh, I do. Well, sure, let's go for it then. 
defends for one HP damage, then breaks. Cool, so I get a freebie and uh, you get experience for that. So, level up, half blind blackjack. The choice is yours, tap the card you want to play. The cowboy. Oh, <laughs> I do like how you just become a new class when you level up. So the first time, I was generic nothing and then I became the rogue that first time. So it makes the first few floors kind of a freebie for you. Mm, because of my dagger of sight, 10% chance to be face up and now 10% that ace of diamonds. That's what we're seeing there. So that's properly explained. The two, you draw two cards each time. And the choice is yours. Tap the card you want to play. Like, I I'll be curious to see how that's different from what I just had. Well, I'm gonna stay. Monster busted. Great news for me. Easy choice. And stay. Goblin wins. Damn him. The shield is broken. Okay, I got my one freebie. Shields only last until the damage they defend is used. Scoring 21 on your first two cards instantly kills your enemy. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny, actually. Especially, that, that would be awesome if you pulled that out on, like, some big-ass, I don't know, boss or something. Hits for 1 HP with a 25% chance to set an enemy on fire. The Fuego Maker. Okay, I really like that, actually. Even though they kind of stole their, like, thing from Mentos, the Fresh Maker. It's, I still think it's neat. This bandit would rob you in a heartbeat 50% of the time. Well, I only have one gold, <laughs> so I don't think it really matters all that much. And I'm definitely going to beat him, right? Yeah. Hand me, hand me over that gold you've been collecting. Ooh, red rats. Those are probably, you know, a little bit more of a unique rat. A rat with an identity, you know, seeing as we were fighting generic rats before. I'm kind of curious to see what these guys have going for them. Pizza rat. The furthest away from what I expected, but uh, kind of funny. 15 minutes of fame and now a video game character. Pizza rat. I like pizza makes me think of Five Nights at Freddy's, but rats have nothing to do with that. I have no idea what pizza rat has to do with. Someone might have to point explain that one to me. Two times the normal HP of a normal rat. I added a few, I added some words there, but it all made sense. I stay, I'll stay there. Hero wins. And. Damn. Wait. Did I not bust? Right, ace. Okay, I got really lucky there, actually. I'm gonna stay on that. Pizza Rat wins, man. I wanted him to bust. And, you know, just make my life easier. Oh, he has 21, so I have to go. Well, that sucked for me. Of the brisket, go with the easy one, go with the easy one, <laughs> keep it going. All right, now I gotta stay. Oh god, I didn't realize he was at 20, I pretty much had to. You have died and have no more continues, you will get a fresh continue on restart. Killed by the pizza rat, of all things, of all things I had to get killed by the pizza rat. You've died and left some of your gold and XP in the dungeon. Use the altar to head back to your deepest level and retrieve it. Or start exploring again from here and grab it when you get back. So, I think, like, well, okay, well, this, this guy's gonna get in my way. Oh, I'm still... I'm still the same uh, character type. I'm still the cowboy, which is kind of interesting. I am back to not having, like, good items or anything, though, but I'm, I'm keeping this class, which is quite interesting to me. Get out of the way. I'm trying to see what this is all about here. Spiders, you're, you're making this difficult. Well, I might as well claim what's in the chest while we're, while we're at it. I'm already at max health. It'll teleport you to the deepest floor you have explored. Fast travel. So, I, I, I have that experience already. That's more or less it. Here's my tombstone. This is your grave. You can loot it for 7 XP and 2 gold. Or I could choose to like come back to it later or I could potentially start at level one and work my way back down here normally and loot it then instead. But there, there's the appeal of, of restarting level seven. Maybe it doesn't make a, a ton of difference. But right now, you know, I'm back to like not having uh, any real items or anything going for me. But I like that they give you that option and there's like a lot you can play around with there. 
that is my my quick look at Rogue Jack. It's Black Jack and a roguelike. I think it's simple. It's effective. I like what they have going on here. I really like this developer, so I'm I'm always keen to to support them. I didn't mean to stay. I can't believe I won on that stupid ass hand. Ah, he was just a dumb spider. Of course I was gonna win. And now I have a gun. A six shooter fires for one HP of damage two if you're a cowboy, which I am, which is awesome. I kind of love. Love that I just have a gun now. It feels really weird to be walking around a dungeon just like shooting things, especially when I'm drawing big 21s all over the place, you know? Makes me feel like I'm really punking these weak, lame little bats drawing 21s. It's just a joke to me now. <laughs> Anyways, I think you guys should check it out. I think it's cool. I'll have a link down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.